Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Chrissy. Today I'm working on an A4 canvas. Uh, it's pre-primed, gessoed. Uh, I'm doing a really nice loose abstracty wave today. I hope you enjoy this, guys. So I'm just loosely applying some indigo blue, a bit of tonal grey in, in the middle there. And I've jumped over to me uh, a, a sienna, some raw sienna. And a tiny bit of cadmium orange. Don't have to have raw sienna, you can use burnt sienna as well. And I've just layered another layer there. This is still wet into wet. I'm using some yellow ochre. Because I want it all to blend in together. Just a nice look. It's just nice and abstract feel to it, which I thought were really cool. Here I'm just applying some phalo green. I'm just using a flat brush, one inch flat, flat brush. And can you see I'm just doing these really loose brush strokes. I'm not blending anything out really. And at the bottom I'm using that dark indigo blue again. Now I'm just scooping up here with this dark blue. Just to give some movement to the wave. Give it a bit of uh, action, so to speak. Give it a soft blend there. So I'm working wet into wet. I'm trying to keep it going, really moving along quite fast so I can uh, get that nice blend before it all dries because we're in acrylics, like I said. I've just mixed some phalo green, that indigo blue, and a tiny bit of white there, which gives a real cool colour. I really like that colour. And again, I'm just concentrating on the actual movement of the actual wave. And don't over blend, you know what I mean? Just do nice loose brush strokes and then you won't get mud. It'll just streak over the actual colour underneath. If you're not that confident enough, just dry it off first and then apply your next colour. But I quite like it when it just uh, blends slightly into another colour. As long as you don't over blend, it'll be perfectly fine. Just some lighter colour now. Same colour, but all I've just done here is added a bit more white. And a bit of a glaze that phalo green on that uh, eye of the wave there, which was the yellow oak underneath. It was a nice fun one to do this. I really enjoyed doing this. Nice and uh, loose and fast and relaxing and just went with the flow. Went with the flow of the mood. I hope you enjoy it, guys. If you do, you can subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. And any comments and thumbs up. Obviously, I always appreciate that as well. Any questions, just leave in the comments section. And I always check that regular. So here I've gone with like that uh, indigo blue with a tiny bit of phalo green and some white. It makes like a nice teal colour if you add a bit of yellow just to lighten it up a bit more. You can just get a bit of a teal feel like I'm doing here. So you've got the contrast on top and then the darker and mid-tone blues coming down into the actual movement of the wave. So the same colours but just add a bit more yellow to get more of a teal feel. Still with that flat brush, I'm just using one brush. You can use an angle brush as well. I just think the flat brushes work really well for this little project. Bit more dark there, just add a bit more of that dark indigo blue. It's a beautiful, nice, dark, rich colour. Like a really dark navy blue colour. I really like it. I'm using my Interact, uh, Atelier Interactive paints today. So they're a nice buttery consistency. And they just flow really nice. Plus they stay open just to Quite a bit longer than your normal heavy body paints. And can you see I'm adding that blue over that orange? It doesn't matter if it turns it a bit uh, different colour. That's the, the effect I want. It's a nice loose abstractive feel. We're not going for pitch perfect colours. It just wants to be nice, loose, bit blended into the other colours. Some may not be as blended as much. It just go with the feel and be try and be a bit more expressive. I'm just using the core and I'm flicking up with that uh, 
flat brush and just pressing down then wriggling the brush up to give it that nice flicky movement the actual form coming up off the wave I haven't gone pure white yet it's still uh, quite all them other colours on my brush as well Now it is dry when I'm applying this section now, when I get to the next layer, I have dried it all off, as you'll see in a little bit. A bit more of that nice greeny tone into the eye, the wave there. So when we come back to the form, it, that bit will be actually be dry. A bit more lighter streaks into the dark, you want your contrast still. But really fun to do, I mean you can do these in multiple colours, I think they're really just nice to crack on and have a nice freedom of painting, especially if you've been doing something more detailed, you know you can just relax and have a good time doing this. Now I've used that flat brush all the way through the painting, I've just changed now to my little liner rigger brush. Now I've got some fluid white here and I'm just putting some light foam lines in on the water just to give it that nice finishing touch. And keep your lines pretty, you know, uh, wriggle, wriggle your brush a bit. You don't want perfectly straight lines and cross them over like I'm doing here to give them more of a, a natural abstracted feel. And same coming down from the top just to bring it all together a little bit more. I'm just scrumbling a bit there just to put a bit of detail around the eye of that uh, wave. So if you enjoyed it guys please leave us a thumbs up. Like I said and subscribe because I upload regular. I'm just going back into that blue again. It's not white now, just come back into that nice tealy blue colour. Just add a bit more flavour. I've just soft blended out that uh, eye of the wave a bit more. So I just want that little light bit peeking through. Now that's dry, I'm coming back in with some more titanium white. I've gone back to my half inch flat brush here. Now it's a bit grey, it's not pure white, but I'm just doing some splats now of like some mist coming off the actual wave, which is pretty awesome because it's a nice abstract feel to it as well. I think it works really well into the painting. So I haven't used any pure titanium white as such. Only on these little splats that you see now. And good fun as well. We have good fun splattering and uh, doing all nice stuff like that. I like it. Nice little soft blend around the eye just to soften that. And then we've got a nice lovely completed wave painting. So thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon on my next video. Bye for now.